welcome back welcome back to l-o-s-v so um let's go ahead and get right into this video so y'all know my every weekend routine i always hit up um trader joe's Publix and Whole Foods so that's what we did um, every weekend like clockwork I feel like I'm in Publix and Walmart though every other day that's another story for another time though but anyway so I want to go ahead and jump right into this video today I am going to be talking about um, me and my hubby the hubs we are on our journey of buying a house so we didn't went through this process two times where we didn't try to buy a house. Well, I wouldn't say try, but we um, was looking at buying a house on two different occasions. The one time, the first time we decided we wanted to buy a house, we was actually in Cincinnati. And um, that deal, we actually put an offer in on a house. Um, the deal ended up falling through. It was on the bank in the seller they they had something something happened between the bank and the seller and that deal ended up falling through and i'm happy it did because for one we was we was settling we was we was settling in on that house we really didn't fully like it it wasn't i mean we liked the house but it wasn't what we fully wanted so i'm happy it fell through because we ended up moving to florida so that that just worked out for us um the second time we um looked at buying the house was actually right before we moved here we <laughs> let me tell y'all something i would not do this i would not do this ever again but we was literally about to buy a house sight unseen meaning we got us a realtor in orlando before we moved before we moved here we knew we was moving here but we didn't have nowhere to move to and we wanted to buy our ultimate goal is to buy so we was like okay let's just go down there and buy but we ain't never been like we never been to the area of where like you know we've been to orlando before we've been to disney and all of that but we have not been to the area of where we wanted to move to you know to get close to corey's job so we had a realtor we got a realtor from orlando called her and was like hey we need to buy a house before we come down there can that is that possible sure so she did all the groundwork for us like we she sent us houses we looked at the houses we end up falling in love with a house we fell in love with this house and we was like you know what let's go ahead and put the offer in never seen the house like she our realtor actually went to the house gave us a walkthrough like we was on facetime and she walked through the house showed us every nook and cranny of the house inside outside everything so we seen the house in pictures we seen the house on facetime and we was like you know what let's go for it and that ended up falling through and i'm happy it did because for one it was it was in a neighborhood that's next to the neighborhood that we currently live in but it's not the neighborhood that we want to live or i should say not neighborhood but city the town or is a town i guess it's a town i don't know if it would be called a town or a city whatever it's in the city next to the city that we live in the city that we live in now is our ideal location is where we want to be we love the city that we're in we love the school we love the neighborhood we love everything about it so i'm happy that that deal ended up falling through because we would have been in a different school district it was it was more country like like very undeveloped area so um i'm kind of i'm very happy that that deal kind of we didn't we didn't move forward with it because it was just something it it was it just wasn't right it wasn't right like the house was a beautiful house we would have been extremely happy with the house but it wasn't right so we didn't move forward with it instead we came down here we ended up finding these apartments we rented we are renting these apartments and now we said okay it's 2020 it's time to jump back on the house buying process so we are truly looking for our dream home we are we looking for our dream home forever home we're looking for it um 
we have I have a list of everything I want in my home um, I'm gonna tell you our top I'm gonna tell you like our top I don't know a, a, a few things that we absolutely want to have in our Florida dream home the top thing is a pool a pool we we have to have a pool like what is a Florida house without a pool so we want a pool that's fenced in we also want to have a um like two or three car garage ideally we want a four bedroom house um i want to have i personally want to have my own like glam room slash office whatever like i just want it to be glammed out with like pink and and like silver and bling you know i just want to have my girly space that's just all mine you know what i'm saying so <laughs> i i definitely want to have my own my own office space or whatever because y'all know i'm i work from home and i got my little business ventures and everything like that so i really need my own office space while we are in this apartment complex um I do not have space for my office. I don't have space. It's like my office is literally wherever wherever I'm at with my laptop and I pop it open. That's that's where I work at. So, you know, that's whatever. So, um, yes, I definitely want to have my own office. So, let me go ahead and roll these clips of some of our... Um, we went... This weekend, we went and looked at, I shouldn't say this weekend, over the weekend. We went and looked at a couple of properties. Um, we looked at a lot of neighborhoods. We actually fell in love with this neighborhood that's up the street from us. I mean, fell in love with it. And they literally had like three houses for sale. I might, they may, maybe have four houses in that whole neighborhood for sale. But, um, yeah, it, we, it, we just need to have something that we we want to look for something that we want like we don't want to buy anything that like we don't want to settle you feel me we want to make sure we buy something and we absolutely love it so like i said the neighborhood we actually fell in love with is like pristine it is beautiful and um and then we found this other neighborhood that is actually wonderful beautiful it had the it have a house right now that's for sale that like we will buy it right now right now right now <laughs> but we still got a little bit of time so we you know you got to start the whole house buying process early so you can see what's out there so you can look you know so but if this house is still available by the time our lease is up we will be jumping on it so um yeah i'll show you a few pictures of the house that we actually fell in love with um as far as the houses that we looked at this weekend i'll show you how one of the houses we looked at this weekend it did not have a pool but it was it was still it was a beautiful house the second house we looked at was it was actually a house that was being built from the ground so, we still going back and forth on the whole house being built from the ground, but I think we are kind of more so leaning towards just buying a house instead of building a house, but I'm going to show you the house, the neighborhood that we went through that we can actually get a house built um, from the ground up, and it would, it would be like, I think it was like a four bedroom, three bathroom house, but um, this particular neighborhood, it was, it was, a, it was, everything was being built um it was new brand new neighborhood brand new development but um i don't know we we it's like you know it got as good but it got it got as good and it's bad like you know it's just things about it that we like and things that we um is not happy with the house for instance the master bathroom they don't have a tub like they have a big shower but they will not put a tub in and it's like the upgrades to the house basically if you get it built they got one custom way to build it this builder do not do upgrades they do not do like any of that so it was like if you get a house built with them this is how you get it built and it's like nothing that you can add or whatever you will have to do that on your own down the line after the house is built so that was kind of like mm so um yeah so let's go ahead and look and see the footage of what we looked at this weekend
Then I woke myself up, painted the scene I'm they got My queen bee swinging to my sonnet as I lay by It's how I want it, in a minute she wrote something that stink good Feeling haunted the way she ghost and I make eye contact Both of our tummies making the same tune Heat up the grill and we filling up with the same food She a 10 but she fitted with Adidas a size 9 Somehow we'll be feeling like we the same shoe, damn She really been buttering up the jam, can Me and you cuddle up with the fan blowing thanks Yeah I know you worry about the bitches who fan shows But you was original hands on it I'm good, she good, we good, it's all good, and that's good, that's good, that's good, cause I'm good, I'm good, she good, we good, it's all good, and that's good, that's good, that's good, cause I'm good. I could die like this, pass me a tab, I could fry like this. Thoughts of the past, all the highlight shit. My life's when the sunset, twilight shit. I ain't moving, I'ma lie like this The rays bright all up in my eyes like shit Child, why don't you shut the blinds right quick So I could doze off, maybe die like this And I need nothing but good looks Ass like Trina, she getting them hood looks It feels like a Friday, but fuck time I'ma stay up and light up until the sunshine I'm good, she good, we good It's all good, and that's good That's good, that's good Cause I'm good It is this beautiful lake that we can see from our house um, that we live in now. So basically, we sit up on a hill and um, not directly. Like I can't look out my my window and see this lake. Like if I if I drive down the street to the corner, I can see the uh, a view of the the lake. Not the whole lake, but it's a nice lake view. If I um drive down to the corner and you know because we're we're up on a hill so we actually decided to drive down to this lake now the lake that i always go to that you guys see um where i showed y'all the sunset and everything now that is a lake that is actually in the downtown area of my city that i live in um this lake though is closer to my house it's actually literally like down the street so we decided to go all the way down to the lakefront and drive um down this street and it's it's beautiful i mean this street has houses ranging from a million dollars all the way down to you know the most affordable rent or the most affordable that you can buy so it was it was a combination and it was beautiful it was beautiful it was beautiful spanish moss trees um I did not get any pictures of the side where all the man it was mansions y'all mansions mansions on the side of the street facing the lake and then you go down and then the houses just get smaller and smaller it was like mansions then it was like mini mansions and then it was like big houses and then it just went down down and down so it was nice though but um yeah so that's pretty much what we did over the weekend so I have a lot coming to you guys for my bossed up motivation series um i have a lot to talk about being a boss being your own boss i have a lot to say about that um i want to continue to make connections with people um i already got a couple of youtube friends so i'm very excited about that that you know um we can network together and everything like that so i'm very excited about that having 
um, made some YouTube friends. I hope I can make more. Um, like I said, 2020 is all about bossing up. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So, um, I'm very happy about that. So, yes, for my boss up motivation, I have a lot more coming. I have a lot more videos that needed to be filmed, too. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump on that and start fil filming for more for my boss up motivation. And, um, yeah, so I guess that is it with this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked everything that you've seen. And I want you guys to come on this house buying journey with us. We are really out trying to buy our dream home and I want to take you guys every step of the way. Um, like I said, we are looking at all of our options, whether we want to build from the ground up or if we want to buy already built. Um, I think we are leaning towards buying already built because we really want to have a pool that is like a number one goal. We have to have a nice pool. So. Go ahead, y'all. Hit that subscribe button. If you have not hit it already, what are you waiting for? Give me those thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out, y'all.